Franklin did a pop-up concert and interview in Atlanta to promote his latest album, Father's Day. Now, unfortunately, I missed the live event, but I watched the entire recording on YouTube. And you should know that I've been a fan of Kirk's music for some time, but this latest album is particularly significant for me because of my book, Overcoming Father Wounds, and my own personal story with my own biological father. As a result, I've watched his documentary multiple times and pretty much every interview and listened to every song on the album a lot. Now, during this pop-up concert and interview, there was a special altar call specifically for people who did not know their father. As someone who has grown up in the church, I have never seen this done before. It was kind of a moment where you wished no one in the room fit the criteria, but you knew there would be many people that did. I felt sobriety and a deep sadness as men, women, and children of all ages publicly declared I do not nor have I ever had a relationship with the man who gave me life by walking down the aisle to stand in the front of the church. There were probably well over 60 individuals. Kirk, who had just recently discovered who his biological father was, told this very vulnerable crowd words that have stayed with me. He said, you cannot wait for the apology, even though you deserve it. You cannot wait for their sorry, even though your heart needs it. You cannot wait for the hug, even though it would turn your world around. I want you to limp across the finish line and win wounded. Since hearing this, I have found myself dwelling on the phrase win wounded because it sounds like an oxymoron. Win wounded? It seems contradictory to place the word wounded after the word win. Someone who wins is successful or victorious, and someone who is wounded is injured. When you think of winning, you don't think of being wounded. In fact, someone who ends up wounded might be considered the loser. The person who got the shorter end of the stick. The unlucky one, the one you feel sorry for, you pray for, and you hope not to be, but not the winner. The phrase, when wounded, seems to suggest something that is impossible or difficult to do. It's something that needs clarification or should maybe come with an instruction manual for those moments when you are triggered, paralyzed, and catapulted back to the time or times when you were wounded in the first place. The phrase, when wounded, leaves you with so many questions. Questions like, how? How are you supposed to win wounded in? Are there exceptions? Are there certain wounds that are so severe that the phrase win wounded does not apply to? What about if the wound is physical, emotional, mental, or spiritual? How can you address wounds that you cannot see? How do you start? When do you start? Where do you start? These are some of the thoughts and questions I found myself having as I began to think about this phrase, when wounded. This is the motivation surrounding my new series. I want to take a look in the Bible at actual stories of people who won while they were still wounded. Not happy endings or everything works out in the end scenarios. I wanted to look at people who won even though they remained wounded in some area of their life. Because isn't that what we all want to see? Evidence? Proof? 
a poster child success story for the type of wound we endured? If we were abandoned or betrayed or abused or neglected or hurt in some type of way, we want to see the person who experienced the same thing and yet overcame. We who have been wounded want to see examples of people who experienced something similar and yet they survived, thrived, and won. We want to see them so that they can be our inspiration, providing us with the necessary courage that we need to look ourselves in the mirror and say, I can do it too. We want to see them so that we can encourage ourselves as we endeavor to limp across our own finish line. We want to see them because they embody the hope we need to believe that we can win wounded too. So consider this your invitation. Join me for the next seven weeks as we delve deeper into the topic of winning wounded. If you have experienced father wounds, I created a father wound quiz to help you determine the type of father wounds you have in addition to several free resources. You can find those links in the description section of this YouTube video. Now join me next week when we will be talking about winning when you have been spiritually wounded.